I feel very, uh, very happy, really very happy uh, that the apex body of Bangladesh, ABCCI, where I was the past president, and they are, they are celebrating their 50 years anniversary, Golden Jubilee. It is really, uh, uh, really a good news for the all business community of Bangladesh. You all know that after liberation, war toward in Bangladesh. The ABCCI was established in the year in 1973 by some new generation businessmen of Bangladesh. That time Bangladesh was struggling for existence and there was a shortage of scarcity of food, shelter, clothing and medicine. And Bongo Bondhu, then President was then not getting the support from the many countries including USA and Saudi Arabia and other Arabian countries. And <coughs> even USA Foreign Secretary was telling that Bangladesh is nothing but a bottomless basket at this moment. But I can see proudly that now Bangladesh emerged as a as a very <coughs> uh, as a one of the one of the the, the vibrant economy of South Asia. We are the 35th high, uh, largest economy of the world. Bangladesh has become a brand name in the uh, arena, of, in the field of um, garments industry. And we are the second highest producer of garments in the world after China. <coughs> I believe, obviously, I believe that uh, Bangladesh is also progressing in leather industry, furniture industry, and IT, IT uh, industry sector also booming up. And obviously, uh, FBCCI is always playing a vital role in guiding the Bangladesh in this uprising period. Now, no doubt, Bangladesh is an uprising country. As a past president at FBCCI, I feel really delighted to see this uprising of Bangladesh, where certainly ABCCI has played a pivotal role during the last half century. <coughs> when I was a president 12 and 13, 14 and 15, that time our national budget was only 80 to 85,000 crore. And that time also this revenue, uh, revenue, local revenue was about 65 or 60 crore or 60,000 crore only. But every year that our budget is increasing by 25 percent. And at the same time, this, uh, our revenue income is also increasing in a, uh, 20, 20 or 22 uh, percent approximately. That 22 and 2022, that revenue budget is coming from the business community and business community is contributing the revenue uh, revenue for uh, through an NBR and at that time the the government tried to uh, enact the uh, VAT but that from FBCCI we tried to make them understand that the new VAT policy is not that uh, business people are not acquainted with the system that is why you have to wait for some time to enact the law and <coughs> then for that reason there is a gold table, a round table conference uh, along with the, the then finance minister Abu Mal Abdul Mohid and the commerce minister Tofai Ahmed MP and industry minister Amir Hussain Amu and the then planning minister the present finance minister after long discussion we have formed a committee subcommittee to give a report on the, the, the demand of the uh, business people and afterwards they uh, that subcommittee included also, also as a co-chairman our present uh, president of the bcci mr zusimuddin was a co-chairman of that committee and after giving the report then anyhow that uh, that um, that is implement after uh, about uh, in 19, uh, 2019 and from that then after in, uh, enacting the VAT 
and the business people started giving the bhat in a regular way and by that by that way they think our uh, the revenue income is increased and our budget is increased many fold and now at this moment we have the budget for about last year was 663000 crore and we expect we are expecting next year budget will be more than say uh, 7 lakhs uh, 7 lakhs crore uh, and more that is why i can tell in that respect also abc plays a, a very positive role for the for the upliftment of bangladesh uh, thank you very much <coughs> uh, that time in 13 or 14 uh, before just national election there is a political impasse on a turmoil in the country that time uh, that uh, from APCCI we tried uh, to make a dialogue uh, between the then Prime Minister Donald uh, Sheikh Hasina and the then, um, the then uh, opposition leader Begum Khaled Rajia. But <coughs> and both of them agreed to me that they will sit in a dialogue. But that that very desired desired dialogue was not happened. That the reason known to everybody. Uh, if it would have been then they are in a dialogue, then the scenario of politi political scenario of Bangladesh could uh, uh, could be different now. I can remember another thing because there was no no own building for a BCCI. Still we are having we are having our office in a, a rented house till today because the owner is the uh, IFFC bank, this this building. That time we had a had a land in Hatkola and I started to construct a 13 storied building uh, during my period. And I have completed uh, luckily I have completed uh, this structure of the 13 story building during my time. During my period also you know everybody, I don't know exactly whether you remember or not, there is a, there is a con, uh, uh, contamination in the food, uh, food and uh, frozen food and foods, uh, fruits and fish in the market by introducing formalin. And then uh, we took the initiative so that, that that should be stopped for the sake of the nation because the health will be in a uh, it's better, uh, uh, bad shape if we we take formalin in my in our food, and then <coughs> we started to stop the formalin and to stop to stopping the formalin uh, mixing that we we supplied the machinery machine for for detecting the uh, formalin and we visited many kitchen market along with the then for commerce minister I can remember and commerce minister and other other official agency after that it, it is a stop but now you can see that there is no formal in the market that was a, a great achievement for the for ABCCA also so I visited China that time India Myanmar Japan UA, UK and I was also I was the president of the Bangladesh China Indian Myanmar Business Council definitely I cherish uh, many uh, um, uh, remarkable moment uh, of my uh, presidency in APCCI that during the during that time there was a, that earlier I also told you that uh, during that you know that during that time poli political Im impasse and turmoil in the country in 2013 before uh, national election FBCGI has demonstrated a white flag rally <coughs> over the country with the with the cooperation, not the help, with the cooperation and assistance of the cham all chambers and association members of, uh, of the country. And well, <coughs> association with a view to establish a, a peace in the country, along with the politician, along with the businessman, uh, with, with other inhabitants of the country. But uh, is the business person all over the country definitely they participated in this rally and it was known to everybody and still today people used to say that that peace rally was a wonderful thing to remember. Every year the <coughs> ABCCI is arranging a uh, international trade fair 
uh, with the help of the Commerce Ministry and other agencies. But every year you can see that near the Bangabandhu Convention Center, there is a big field that every year we used to construct the shed and, and the building to, uh, to display their product in, in Bangladesh. But there was no permanent, uh, permanent exhibition center at that time. 13, 14 and 15 um, January, I requested at the time of opening of this, uh, uh, of this fair, I requested Honorable Prime Minister to give us a permanent place uh, for, a, for the exhibition center. She agreed and I am happy to see now that it, that, that, that the, the dream of the businessman came to uh, came in came true and now we have a business center uh, exhibition center in purbachal name is Bong, bongobondhu bangladesh china friendship uh, friendship exhibition center at purbachal i am also one of the members of the body i can tell you that the five crores business people should uh, should do some should do something that people will remember for forever. What? What is this? What is this? The, that uh, members of the BCCI and leadership of the CCI, they advocate a fair and an ethical trade uh, in the country, so that there will be no uh, no unethical business or unfair business in the country. The BCCI should look after the interests of, of the business community as well as the mass people of the country. I take the pride, the pride that uh, I am the past president of BCCI, the apex embodiment of the whole business community of the country. I wish a BCCI will keep its uh, positive efforts and endeavors uh, to materialize the goal of our Honorable Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina, the uh, daughter of the father of the nation Sheikh Mujibur Rahman, to make Bangladesh a developed and a smart Bangladesh by 2041. Joy Bangla, Joy Bangabundhu.